No. I'm glad you asked me that question. No, I'm not having any second thoughts about representing President Trump. It is the proudest thing I could ever do. What I am having second thoughts about is the license that I stand here with that the people in there are supposed to have. I have not spoken because I respect my ethics while I'm on trial. But let me now speak about what has happened. I have sat on trial after trial for months in this state, the state of New York. Attorney General Letitia James, and now this. Weeks, weeks. Why? Because President Trump is leading in the polls, and now we see what you get in New York. So don't get it twisted, whoever asked me that question. I am so proud to stand with President, President Trump. But I am not proud to stand with what I saw in that courtroom. Ms. Hubbard, is the I'm not president. finished. Let me just finish and I'll take questions, please. Before I walked into court, that judge decided that every single defense President Trump had, we were not allowed to raise in front of the jury. It is in writing, and I encourage the journalists, the real journalists, to take the minute to look at his orders. There was no proof, and I couldn't prove that she didn't bring in the dress. There was no DNA. There was no expert. My experts were denied. Two of them, two of them were denied to come in. They didn't bring, let me bring up that Reed Hoffman funded Ms. Kaplan. And you know what we got in there? That my witness, who was her friend, who said that she is a drug addict and the drug addict is herself. That friend I found out in there was paid for by Ms. Kaplan's firm, and that is disgusting. That is a violation of everything I stand for, and that is why I stand with Trump. And that is why so many Americans are so proud that he is running again and so excited to run to the ballot box. But don't get it twisted. We are seeing a violation of our justice system. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not allowed to be stripped of every defense that you have. You are not allowed to be told that you can't bring it up. And imagine a point where a judge tells the lawyer before your client, the former president of the United States, the leading candidate and obvious no nominee for the Republican Party, before he takes the stand to defend himself, Ms. Haba, tell me the questions you're going to ask in open court and tell me exactly what he's going to respond. And then edited my questions, edited the response he was allowed to give. And guess what my client did? He took the stand. He abided by the rules of this corrupt system that I have seen. We will immediately appeal. We will set aside that ridiculous jury. And I just want to remind you all of one thing. I will continue with President Trump to fight for everybody's First Amendment right to speak. Everybody's a right to defend themselves when they are wrongfully accused and to be able to say, I didn't do it. And to double and triple and quadruple down and say, this is wrong. This is wrong. But we are in the state of New York. We are in a New York jury, and that is why we are seeing these witch hunts, these hoaxes, as he calls them. And this is another one of them. Be brought in New York, in states where they know they will get juries like this. It will not deter us. We're fighting. And I assure you, we didn't win today, but we will. The record that was made in there and the behavior I saw in there, some of which was reported widely today, gave us the most perfect record on appeal, and even if I needed it, which I don't. We were stripped of every defense, every single defense before we walked in there. And I am proud to stand with President Trump because he showed up, he stood up, he took the stand, and he faced this judge. And you know what? I'll continue to do so with him. Yes. Ms. Hubbard, is the former of course, I've spoken with the president. Ms. Hubbard, is the former president scared now of the consequences of his actions? The former president does not live his life in fear, as you've seen every single day. The former president and probably future president will continue to fight for Americans. Thank you very much, everybody.